Hi guys, welcome to this Greek city-state Thebes. Thebes, we'll start with the geography of Thebes, is located on the mainland of Greece. Let's go to our map. And it is located north of Athens. So I am where this yellow cursor is, and Athens is down here. So it's north of Athens. You'll notice it is not right on the water like some of our other Greek city-states, which plays a big factor in what this city-state is known for. This city-state is known for being a farming community, and even though it's not on the water, it still did have a big influence on trade, but not as big on the water. There is no port that's directly connected to Thebes, it is inland. You notice it does have a body of water just north of it, um, but it's pretty centralized in the middle of the mainland of Greece. So going back up, I'm just gonna go back in here, oops. So I am standing on the temple called Cadmia. This temple was actually dedicated to the founder of the city-state Thebes. His name was Cadmos. He was their leader. And it's thought in Greek mythology that Cadmos uh, left to find his sister who was kidnapped by Zeus in the form of a bull. So um, they dedicated this building to um, the founder Cadmos and they named it the Cadmia Temple. Inside there is a statue. Oops, she jumped on. There's a statue of Athena, which doesn't really make a whole lot of sense, but yeah, the statue of Athena, okay. Um, so not everything in the video game is accurate. What is accurate though across is there's a nice statue of Dionysus. Dionysus was one of the gods that was worshipped in this city-state. You'll notice all of these sacrifices being made to him, and all of these people are praising and worshipping that god. Let's jump on my unicorn, and we're going to go traveling. So the Cadmia is located on the Acropolis, so this whole area, this upper level, it's considered to be the Acropolis, right, where all of our temples are. Um, so the city states a little bit different. The Acropolis has like two peaks instead of just one. So you have this upper level over here. And then when I travel over this way, it does dip down, but I have another area over here that's higher up. So it kind of almost has two separate Acropolis instead of just one large hill that everything is on. It's in like two separate spots. Let's just go across here. A little bit of background on its government. So like I said before, it is a farming community. Um, so it was ruled by an oligarchy, which was just a few um, landowners. So it doesn't have like the same type of leadership as some of our other city-states we've seen. Um, this one was really strong in farming, so it didn't have like a really like large council for their oligarchy. It was just a few people. Um, this temple is part of our Acropolis, so if you go inside, you'll notice that there's like, you know, it's decorated and everything. This one's not specific towards um, a certain god or goddess. Um, besides Dionysus, Apollo was also considered to be a god that was worshipped in the city-state. And the reason for that is because it's one of its strongest allies uh, was Delphi. So Delphi is another city-state located in ancient Greece. And this is kind of like their go, like their, um, 
their allies so that they like defended each other and backed each other up in wars and their god that they worshipped was Apollo so they also worship Apollo in Delphi. Another goddess that is worshipped in the city state is Demeter because like I said before it is a very strong farming community so any communities that have a lot of farming or agriculture tied to them they worship Demeter because she is supposed to bring them crops and lots of fertile um, soil and all of that. Um, <clears throat> in addition, what they're also known for is the creation of aqueduct systems and canals. So even though they're not right on the water, they're able to redirect the flow of water to them so that they can water their crops. Um, in the video game, there's not an aqueduct that I can show you, but if I go over this way, you can definitely see all of the farming. So here's like an example, like you have all of this flat land, fertile land, you see farms over there and over here. And these are the silos that are filled with uh, water to farm, to um, water the plants. So you do have canal systems that flow and tunnels that bring water over to these areas. So that was a big achievement for them. Um, in addition, their rivals and their allies. So as far as like Athens or Sparta, this city state kind of played both sides. Um, at this time in the video game, what I'm playing, they're um, allied with Sparta. So you'll see Spartan soldiers, you'll see red banners on the, um, like the entrances to show that it is supporting Sparta, but it went back and forth so the city-state actually fought with persia against ancient greek city-states during the persian wars and they kind of flip-flopped between athens and sparta throughout the peloponnesian wars i would say that they had the longest standing relationship and al alliance with sparta though um so they did side with sparta for majority of the time and then they flipped and were sided with athens as far as their resources, like I said, they're a strong farming community, so resources primarily are going to be in like the food and crops, wheat, corn, barley. Um, as far as other resources, they did have a, a lot of wool coming from their livestock, their sheep, and they were also a big factor in the Bronze Age um, and created some really intricate bronze statues as well. Um, they're, they have been found with different precious metals like gold um, and gemstones, but it's thought that a lot of that was traded into Thebes because there's not a whole lot of mining um, or, or caves that are found nearby Thebes. Other than that, um, one other thing that it's known for is being um, the location of a very famous Greek poet named Pindar. Um, he lived here in the city. And like I said before, you have the um, famous Hercules or Heracles who was born here. Let's see. Check that down. And I believe there is another don't want to be spotted here. temple over here that is dedicated to Dionysus. I think this one. Yeah, this one is also Dionysus as well. So notice that their offerings that they give Dionysus are going to be a little bit different, right? Their, um, the things that they sacrifice to their gods vary based off of what, who, which god it is. So for Dionysus, you see a lot of wine vases um, because that was what he was known for. So they would offer up wine to him. There's also, if we go down this way, there's a really large... Um, what do you call it? Not arena. Theater. Really large theater dedicated to him as well. It's not as big as the one in Athens, and it's not titled the Theater of Dionysus, but it is, you know, something that was built for the gods that they worship in their city state. So this is another theater for them. And yeah, that is the city of Thebes.